Good evening, friends and comrades. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to do a, a brief video in response to tonight's video where Caleb Moppin breaks the silence. As a lot of you know, I was on a show a couple years ago, debated him, and used to be in touch with him, but uh, we had a falling out uh, before the scandal. And uh, I've maintained uh, contact as of recent with uh, former CPIers, former followers of Caleb that clearly have left his, his group or cult as a result of the scandal and the allegations uh, that came out. And some people that were even sympathetic to Caleb up till the time this video came out are now disgusted with him or think that his arguments that he made were weak or seemed arrogant. A lot of people were in denial of some of the more uh, sick claims about things that he was involved with, the spanking, the coercion, and whatnot, things of a sexual nature. He actually admitted guilt in the video and justified it by his own trauma when he was younger. And while I respect that, there's a lot of people that went through those traumas that didn't become predators themselves. But a lot of people that were denial when they heard in his own words live, admitting that he had done those things, were in shock by that. And I think that uh, that could break the be the straw to break the camel's back. Uh, uh, the final people that wanted to uh, stay with CPI, um, any decent people now hearing the things that he said and the things that he admitted, I don't see why they could stay with that. I think anti-imperialism should, should be a cause that we remain in, socialism as well. He shouldn't pretend to speak for all the anti-imperialists, in, especially in an arrogant way that he was demonstrating in that video. And I think we need to form revolutionary alliances and maintain our connections with the working class, either the vanguard in Latin America or here in, within the U.S. empire itself um, with our brother nations in, in Canada and other regions of the world. Uh, maintain solidarity and unity and true socialism and build true organizations that will not be cultish in any way, shape, or form like Caleb clearly was trying to do, as we know from his former comrades or former members of his group or cult. So thank you, friends and comrades, for listening.